Hey guys, how are you? This is past paper 2015 at Excel IGCC for ICT. Activity 3 is about, about using a web authoring software. Now, for those who wonder, a web authoring software would be something like Microsoft Publisher. So, we needed to create a website. So, just the time 35 minutes. Let's, so, let's get into it. Task W1. Tugensville uh, Hotel Group has a website that includes information about the hotels. The home page of the website is indexed at HTML. Frederick wants to have web pages about a tourist attraction near each hotel. The web pages will be saved as London, Hong Kong, and Chennai. So the web pages must be based on this design. We've got the website. Now, we did not get any instructions yet. We just get information about what the website should look like. So most students got confused at this point and they start designing the web page. No, this is just information. Now is where the instructions begin. So we need to use the logo we created before. Information about the instruction near each hotel is stored in that file. So all this is information. Now we'll start to undertake this activity. Create web pages using the layout shown in design. Create a web page for the London Hotel. So let's do that. So this is Publisher. Uh, since we already have the design, there's no need to get a template. So we can use a blank uh, web page. Uh, scroll all the way down. There you go. That's for the web. So I'll advise you to scroll all the way down and get a web page. Yeah, not a publication, not a printed publication. We need a web page. Um, so click on it, create. That's a standard landscape uh, publication. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, 1024 by 768. All right, good. So let's go back to the design. We need the London for the London. We need the exact same design, yeah? So we're going to get the logo, company name. What's the company name? How do I know all this information? Company name, it's uh, already written at the beginning of the exam, and I need a tourist attraction. So if I go back to page two, I should have the company name here. Yeah. Or you can call it the Dangan Hotel Group. Group, sorry. <coughs> so I'll get a text box. Uh, there it is. I need the log. I personally haven't created a logo. Because I didn't do activity one, so I'll just use one of the pre uh, installed pictures on your PC. Uh, desktop. I'll just use this one. Logo cannot be huge. It should be in uh, the size should be not too big, not too small. Yeah. Next, next thing is to get the page title. That could be London. So here's the page title. Can we paste this bit actually? And uses a page title. Oops. London. And change the Yeah. There you go. Now I need an image about London, so get my picture from file London uh, there you go
Now note that I'm following the exact layout, yeah? I shouldn't be using my own layout because I've got a pretty fine one. Now, where do I get the information about uh, the tourist attractions? I got them in a file called tourist. I'll go ahead and open that file. We just here, yeah? There you go. Big Ben. Just copy the information. And uh, make this smaller. Move this up to make space. Paste the information with the fourteen. Now the next thing I have to do is create the links on this side here. Yeah? So we do know definitely that uh, we've got the home page. So I can create all the links. So I've got the home page. Yeah. That's my home page. Yeah. I'll select it, right click, hyperlink, and that will be on index.html. Then I need a page for London. I need to rename this one. Right click on it, rename. And that will be in London, so I know what links to where. And I can hyperlink that to. Uh, Hyperlink that to London Hotel. Yeah, save your work on uh, the desktop. Yeah, all right. So I need two more web pages the Hong Kong and the Chennai. So, which means I need two more links here Hong Kong and uh, Chennai. Yeah. As is spent, yeah, double in AI. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, so I'll just wait to link this to later. Uh, so the same thing I've done with this page, I'll have to do the other two. So I'm not gonna create from scratch another two pages, I will instead right click on my page. You cannot see it on uh, the screen, and then I will insert duplicate page uh, let me move this a bit so you can see it right click let me right click and then insert duplicate page then I'll do the same thing once more now I've got three pages all I have to do is replace the picture and the text and the rest is the same so I'll delete the text go on the twist um, File, get the information. What's that? The Chennai. Yeah. So we just the second one. Hong Kong. So this is Chennai. Change that to twenty. That's the show. Yeah, short tempo. Yeah. So, and then I'll rename that to right click on it, rename to. Uh, and then I'll do the uh, Hong Kong as well. Victoria Peak. Hong Kong as well. You 
go make sure that the text feeds all the way hmm all right that's a big text I'll change the font size there you go let me place the picture. This is number two, so it should be renamed to uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. So now uh, I'll just replace the pictures. Uh, change picture from file. That will be the shore. I it says in the instruction to get the show picture you saved in activity in task g2 i didn't do that so i'll get this one which one is it this one yeah and then on this page i'll change the picture to uh what was that so nice so there you go yeah no that's the other way around sorry Uh, that was you know, and this is so good. Sorry, here you go. All I have to do now is add the links. Uh, yeah, ignore spelling or fix it to get the hyperlink. So another way to get a hyperlink instead of right clicking is to click on that little button. So that's Hong Kong and this is so nice. So uh, there you go. Now you have to do that on every page. No, we only have three pages, so that's no problem. Uh, but if you've got more pages, there's an easier way to do that using the uh, insert and then there's navigation bar yeah right here but that's fine for three pages that's Hong Kong that's Chennai so I've got the last three pages now that's it now let's back to the instructions Save, clear the web page, save the open screen. I make sure that your web pages are fit for purpose. They are open your docu doc new document, blah blah. For each of the three, display the web page on the screen. So, to do that, I can file and then publish to the web, right? I'll save it and I'll get this folder and this file. So, if I open that file, here it is, yeah, which looks fine and zoom out so you can see the whole thing home page and the home page doesn't exist because that's index.html land on works on gone works and Chennai. and i can go back to london excellent so uh, uh, now you can take screenshots and follow the instructions here now the rest, the next bit is to uh, identify your own formatting technique you have used and where you have used it on your web pages. That would, could be the font size using bold for the title to stand out. Uh, I give one reason for using this technique to stand out as we said uh, from the rest of the information. And then open your London web page, display the source code for the web page. Now if you're using uh, Firefox or Google Chrome you can press Control U. That will give you the source code. If you're using Internet Explorer, just go View Source, right? If you use Control F now to find on this page, Control F works for both Internet Explorer and uh, Firefox Chrome. Uh, you can search for uh, the code, which is the link for Hong Kong. So you just search. There you go. All the links begin with href. So you get that bit, and that's your source code. Copy that, 
and that's your uh, your link yeah the HTML code for the link and uh, paste the highlighted code into your word file and that's it thank you very much